Have you ever experienced a feeling of helplessness where you feel like you can't move? You are both sleeping and awake. It is very much real. You are now in a space called R. -E. When this happens, you may see strange creatures, almost demonic looking. Definitely an eerie place and energy. If you have felt or experienced this, then you've been a victim to sleep paralysis. A portal is open and a dark entity is trying to take over your soul. We are in a spiritual war right now and we have to be aware of it in order to fight back. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and you know, I'm here with a video to speak about my experience and events that happened in my life with sleep paralysis. And you know, what I'm gonna be talking about is back when I was like 18, 19 years old, straight out of high school, you know, I seen and been through a lot of stuff. And at that time I was listening to a lot of like SoundCloud rap, Hip Hop, Lil Pump, Trippy Red, X. And if you know something about them, you know they was crazy. Like they went the whole nine yards, like red hair, blue hair, purple hair, green hair, man, all the hair, pick one. And you know, X really inspired me. I started making music and that was one of my biggest inspirations at the time. And you know, as a young kid, I didn't have guidance like that. So I started, you know, recording for fun and somehow got lucky. Without guidance, no warning, no nothing. That's, I started looking into it. And then from like 2018 to 2020, that's when it, everything got crazy. Yeah, I, that's when it, you know, I'll get the really bad sleep paralysis episodes. Like super bad. Two thousand years later. So back in 2017, 2020, I was like looking into you know third eye stuff and manifestation. Manifestation is real. That's a God-given thing. But you have to know what you're messing with. You have to know. What you're trying to do, you have to have the right intentions through God's will, not yours. That's one thing. And this whole music thing, every artist and all the celebrities, they all believe in their manifestation of their will. Do what thy will. I'm gonna go into that in some other videos, but basically, I'll get into that. You know, look at crystal. Eh, I never really into crystals. I think they just look cool. Honestly, I, I, I never got into that. Some people do that. And like I said, it's putting your faith into a creation and not the creator. So, I was on that time and wow, I walked pretty fast. I'm anchored, you feel me? Anyways, so, yeah, basically that's what that, that would be the case. I would, you know, look into other things and that's also because I was in my spiritual journey I wanted to find I was on a search for something <coughs> and I didn't know what it was so later down the line I guess you could say things got more clear I kept getting closer and closer to God like my sleep paralysis it just got worse like it just kept getting worse and worse to the point where I didn't even want to go to sleep because I knew I was going to get it that night like it was so frequent now I'm telling you I did not want to go to sleep I wanted to stay up and go to sleep until the sun came up I did not sleep until the sun came up so I could just pass out it just kept going and going and going and going. And every time, every time, every time that I would get that, the first thing would be to call in Jesus' name. And I did not, I wasn't going to church. I've been to church a couple times, but I wasn't how I am now. And that's when it, it just like, I look back at it now and it's like, scripture is so true. Demons, I don't know what that was. I mean, I know it was bad, but I didn't know exactly what it was. So, the scripture's true. 
demons flee in the name of Jesus. It's not cap. It's super true. Because that that's what would make me have the strength to be like this. So when you got sleep paralysis, you go like this. You can't move. And then I'll, every time I would call Jesus' name, I'd be like this. Slowly. And then boom. Wake up, go get some soda so I don't go back to sleep. So that night I got it so bad that I saw like a, something on top of me and I, it was choking me. I could not, I couldn't talk, couldn't move. But same thing, I always see Jesus' name. It'll break me out of this. But this time I seen something. I see a face. It had like static TV. You know, like static TV. It had no, no facial features, no nothing. And it was on top of me. The same thing that like, always oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And this time my arms lifted and they went up and I choked. Put my arms around his neck like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing too. Stop playing. No weapon form against me shall prosper. So I did that. Woke up. 